Iraqi Christians are fleeing religious persecution from radical Islamists. Many are coming to the United States, but instead of being welcomed as religious refugees, one group was arrested and thrown in prison in San Diego. Gary Lane brings us their story. Last year, 300,000 immigrants from Muslim countries were welcomed into the United States. Most came seeking a better life. But what about Christians escaping ISIS? Our borders open to everyone except Christians. Mark Arabo is spokesman for the Minority Humanity Foundation. He recently prayed with fellow Iraqi Christians outside San Diego's Otai detention facility. They gathered in protest and support for some of those detained inside. For nearly six months now, the U.S. Immigration Service has imprisoned 20 Chaldean Catholics for attempting to enter the United States from Mexico without prior approval. Rarely does the government comment about pending detainee cases. However, Arabo says the INS did tell the families that it lacked sufficient resources to go through individual case files to provide them with an explanation. Arabo suggests the families deserve better. And so we're going to protest, we're going to pray for the administration and the officials to open up their hearts and minds to the victims of genocide. We're not going to stop and we're going to hold them accountable. Iraqi Christian Amr Moshi served as an interpreter for the United States Army during the Iraq War. Militant Muslims threatened his life because he worked for the Americans. Now he's living in San Diego and prays that his 26-year-old cousin Ziad Mati will soon be able to join him. Ziad was taken into INS custody last January. His case is finally scheduled to be heard later this week. Amr wonders why his cousin is still detained. He's not an Islamic terrorist, explained Amr, but a kind Christian who would not hurt anyone. Ziad will be not be harmful to this country, will not be danger to this country. Let him go live with his family. It's not too much. He's young, he can work, he can pay taxes, he can be happy around his family. And his family could sponsor him. And just moments before this prayer vigil, word came that the mother of one of the detainees inside had died of cancer. The detainee had requested release for a day or two to go see her mother in the hospital before she died. That request was denied. These Chaldean Christians say that's just another example of a broken immigration system. And Amr says many of them now believe America's early troop withdrawal from Iraq is to blame for the rise of ISIS. The militant Islamic group forces Christians to convert to Islam, leave, or die. They did not finish the mission. And we can't get papers to stay in America. Where we should go now? When did the symbol of America become a gated fence as opposed to the Statue of Liberty? Give me your, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free. These are those Christians. Gary Lane, CBN News, San Diego.